The Legend of Zelda, a beloved and enduring video game series created by Shigeru Miyamoto and Takashi Tezuka, has captivated players for decades with its rich narratives and iconic characters. Among these characters, Goma, a recurring boss enemy, stands out as an intriguing symbol with a fascinating history of origin within the series. Goma's symbolism extends beyond its role as a formidable foe, delving into themes of vulnerability, corruption, and the cyclical nature of life and death. In this essay, we will explore the symbolism of Goma and its evolution throughout the Legend of Zelda series. I'll never forget my first encounter with Goma, or any Legend of Zelda game for that matter. I was a wide-eyed eight-year-old, and an opportunity presented itself when my mischievous brother left his treasured N64 unattended. The pause menu of Ocarina of Time greeted me, and a mischievous idea took root. I thought, why not take a shot and impress my big brother? With determined fingers, I unpaused the game, excited to show off my gaming skills. Top G status. But little did I know, fate had other plans for me. As the game resumed, a monstrous mutant crab thing called Goma dominated the screen. The boss music blared, and I was face to face with a creature that looked like it had crawled straight out of a nightmare. I wish I could say I handled the situation like a heroic Hylian warrior, but alas, that was far from the truth. I let out a yelp that could have rivaled Link's famous battle cries, Shit! followed by a whimper that echoed through our living room. Tears welled up in my eyes as I panicked, flailing my little limbs in terror. In a fit of pure, unadulterated fear, I hurled the N64 controller against the wall. I mean, stop throwing shit, because everyone's gonna go home. My dramatic performance must have summoned my mom, who rushed to the scene of my supposed video game exorcism. With a raised eyebrow, she looked at the chaos, then down at me, quivering with leftover adrenaline. She couldn't help but chuckle and said, maybe, dear, you should stick to games your brother approves of. No more adventures in demonic realms for you, at least not without supervision. And that's how my first encounter with Goma became a legendary family tale, complete with tears, terror, and a slightly traumatized N64 controller. Anyways, back to the actual video, no one actually cared for my personal experience. Did they? The meaning of Goma's appearance and its vulnerability. Goma is commonly depicted as a gigantic, one-eyed arthropod with a hard shell that repels most attacks. However, beneath this imposing exterior lies a crucial vulnerability, the creature's singular eye, which serves as its weak point. This symbolism of an exposed, vulnerable core within a formidable exterior mirrors themes often explored in literature and mythology. In Goma's earliest appearance in The Legend of Zelda, its design was intentionally crafted to emphasize this vulnerability. Goma's closed eye suggests a state of dormancy, a form of protection, but also an inherent fragility. This theme is further underscored by the use of arrows, often a symbol of precision and focus as the primary means to defeat Goma. In this context, Goma's vulnerability embodies the idea that even the most imposing adversaries have weaknesses waiting to be discovered. 2. Corruption and Parasitism Goma's role as a parasitic creature adds depth to its symbolism. In Ocarina of Time, Goma is created as a result of Ganondorf's curse upon the Great Deku Tree, an ancient guardian of the forest. This curse transforms the nurturing tree into a host for Goma, highlighting the theme of corruption and parasitism. The concept of corruption is central to Goma's symbolism. It signifies the intrusion of malevolent forces into the natural order, resulting in the desecration of sacred spaces. Goma's presence within the Great Deku Tree symbolizes the corruption of purity and goodness, making players confront the consequences of evil actions on the natural world. 
the cycle of life and death. Throughout the series, Goma is a recurring boss, showcasing the cyclical nature of life and death. Goma often appears as a guardian of vital artifacts, such as spiritual stones or pearls. In defeating Goma, players gain access to these important items, emphasizing the idea that life and death are interconnected and new beginnings arise from the ashes of the old. The cyclical symbolism of Goma aligns with broader themes of reincarnation and rebirth present in the Legend of Zelda series. Characters like Link and Zelda are reincarnated across generations, and the defeat of each Goma symbolizes the renewal of hope and the continuation of the hero's journey. Conclusion In conclusion, Goma in The Legend of Zelda is more than just a formidable boss. It is a symbol rich in meaning and history. Its vulnerability, corruption, and connection to the cycle of life and death make it a multifaceted and enduring character within the series. Goma serves as a reminder that beneath even the most imposing exteriors, vulnerability can be found, and that corruption can threaten even the most sacred of places. Moreover, its recurring presence reflects the timeless themes of renewal and the eternal struggle between good and evil, enhancing the depth and complexity of the legend of Zelda's narrative world. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and leave a like. Let me know in the comment section what you would love to see next. These kind of videos seem more thought-provoking than my previous Let's Plays.